Hey, long time since last episode. It's because sadly, um, some of my recordings when I built this motor controller was lost. It was due to our computer had a virus. Hey, long time since last episode. It's because sadly, um, some of my recordings when I built this motor controller was lost. Nothing to do about that, so unfortunately I am not able to show you how I put the last part of this together. But I can show you how to connect it to the motor. And if you've noticed, I've also had a change of wardrobe because you can see outside the window it's lovely spring here in Denmark and everything is blooming wonderful. And another thing oh, it's maybe that's irrelevant. Check out what I found in a container, man. Somebody just threw this away, and it's actually, uh, apart from like three keys or something like that, it's it's still working. I haven't been able to shoot this for a while uh, because I lost the charger for this. So what I did was that I just hooked it up it on here and hooked it up to uh, a standard uh, car battery charger so it just recharges. But oh yeah what I'm going to show here is how to connect it all, how to connect the motor controller to the motor. What you can see here, here I have the top one here this is M minus that's going to the motor, and that is the battery minus and battery plus. That's these beefy ones. They are from the the traction battery pack, and these little ones are from uh, the auxiliary battery. And the twisted pair of wires almost forgot to mention the twisted pair of wires here they uh, connect to the part box so let's just start connecting it all little screwdriver Okay, so pot box is in. Battery minus. Traction battery minus. We are again using this here. Car jump starter to power it. And plus. And here we have the motor minus. Just the minus of the controller. And the motor plus, which is the plus of the control. And as our auxiliary bat, I'm going to use this here, um, the old bench tester that I built myself a couple of years ago. It's 12 volts. Send it up and down. Just connect it. Minus to motor. I mean controller minus. And plus to control plus. And yes, the controller is on. If you look through the plexiglass on this side here, you can see that the LEDs are glooming inside. It means the controller is powered. And now we turn on the 
traction power and the motor should be powered. Also installed, installed a panel amp meter. Let's see if we turn it up here. This is going to be connected to the speedometer uh, cable of the car. To try to make it go slow, but it's not offering that much speed control. And the reason for that is because it's also um, it's also responding to how many amps the motor is um, is putting out. So uh, because it's not really putting out that many amps, because it's it's in idle and it's not connected to uh, it's not pulling anything uh, it uh, won't uh, be giving that much control because it's made for of course controlling it when it gives out a bit more amps I still try to like accelerate it really slowly slowly as I can Fun. It's like driving an electric car only stationary. <laughs>